no question that I wanted to have somebody who was extremely positive. It's a great day to be a Jayhawk. Very competitive, who has passion for the game of football. Don't enjoy what you're doing. For somebody who has passion. We're going to build relationships. People. I'm also going to teach them how to visualize excellence. Missouri Week, the most anticipated game of the season. Still boasting the second longest rivalry in the nation, Kansas and Missouri are eternally intertwined in college football history. But unlike most rivalries, their hatred didn't begin on the gridiron. It began 150 years ago in the wake of the Civil War. You know, we always pass down the torches, Jayhawks, from way back. Uh, I'm speaking here today to let you know a little bit about where this rivalry came from. I think you probably came from a place and you, you've heard about this rivalry being so fierce and great. And you said, wow, these teams aren't top ten teams usually. How could this be the greatest rivalry? No one else has had a background like Kansas and Missouri. But it started 150 years ago when Kansas wasn't even a state. And the U.S. government let states decide if they were going to be free or a slave state when they entered the Union. And these men, Jayhawkers, they came to Lord's area and they tried to get Kansas to be a free state. See, a Jayhawker is not a, a red and blue bird. A Jayhawker is a man that put it on the line 150 years ago. And he went over there into Missouri and freed slaves and they brought them back and all over Lord's. It was a safe haven. They put them up so they could be fed. They wouldn't starve. Obviously, the people from Missouri, they hated that. Well, they had fights all the way down the border. They called it border wars. And one night, they left Kansas City area. They all met there. They, they rode from all over Missouri, 350 no good, rotten Missouri people. They met there and, and they rode all night and they entered Lawrence about 5 a.m. It was a sneak attack. That, that group that came from Missouri was led by William Quantrell. He was in charge of executing 80% of all the adult males in Lawrence. He killed them all. It was the most vicious attack ever on a U.S. city in a non-war period. They burned down 80% of Lawrence. It was all in flames in 1863. They rode out unscathed because there was no one there. That's how it started. That's where the hate started. They started playing football a little bit later. And, and the first games were played in Kansas City because no one from either school felt safe going to the other town. And, and that hatred just got passed down from generation to generation. There will be a hundreds, hundreds of Missouri Tiger fans Saturday, and they will have shirts that will say William Quantrell, burn baby burn. They still hold on to that hate. I think they hate us because they know that, that our ancestry stood for what was right and what was good. And I think they're embarrassed about theirs. You know, the best team, time and time again, the best team doesn't win this game. The, the team that wins this game is the team that plays with the greatest emotion. And they rise with a passion. And they feel that this is the most important game. Well, guys, I, let me tell you what. This is the most important game. Thousands of people watch you guys and listen to you guys, but not like Saturday. This means everything to them. It's like holding on to what's good and what's true. It's seeing the good guys prevail. Can they do it? There, there's another. Th there's thousands of other fans. They don't even watch football. They don't care about it. But the Kansas-Missouri football game is where you find out about this rivalry. It's who wins this game. That's who's going to feel good for the next year. Win it for yourselves. Win it for this coaching staff. Win it for all the Kansas fans and for every player that's ever put on pads. They're going to be with you. They're going to be 
fighting for you at home. They're going to be pulling for you. They're going to be going through every down, every play. They're going to be pleading with you to protect one half second longer, to rush one half second faster, to break on the ball just a little bit more, and play with the passion and the emotion of a Jayhawker. single play. You got to have it in your mind. I got it in my mind that we will win. We will win. You got to have it in your mind, your heart. Don't have any doubts. Hey, you will win. Yes, sir. I'm talking all day. Not just a whole quarter, not just the second quarter, not just the third, not just the fourth. Every single quarter, we win. Yes, sir. We win every single quarter. Yeah. Oh. We win. Let's go. Let's go.
appreciate you seniors. Uh, I'm glad I had an opportunity to uh, be in your life. Uh, I will continue to be in your life. Um, as far as uh, anything you need, give me a call. Uh, again, I appreciate the opportunity to be here at University of Kansas. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more details to you seniors uh, 3 o'clock there on uh, Tuesday. We uh, guys played, played hard. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Come back here as far as we go on uh, Tuesday. We'll talk about uh, what we're going to do to get better. Uh, we're going to make you guys proud. The guys that are leaving, unfortunately, <laughs> seniors. Uh, as you come back here in the future, there's going to be some good stuff happening. We still stay together here as a family. We stay together here as a team. And we will continue to get better. Bring it on here close right here. Come on. Hey, go on here. Touch it up by Let's go. Team here, guys. Team. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. New coach, new team, new dream. We put it all together and we just gon' believe. Visualize excellence, winning everything. Practice make perfect, so perfect will be. New coach, new team. We put it all together and we just gon' believe. Visualize excellence, winning everything. Practice make perfect, so perfect will be. This is right, child. Business. And, uh, you should be waving a weed.